look at US 26 heading into government camp and as you can see the snow is coming down right now. Yes, it is. And we'll continue with these snow showers as we head through the afternoon and evening. And tomorrow, a lot of snow headed our way, especially up above the past levels at the ski resorts. Here's what it looks like right now at Mount Hood Meadows. Doesn't it look like a snow globe there? Uh, amazing to see that. We've had five inches so far at Mount Hood Meadows uh, just in the last 24 hours. Eight inches at Timberline Ski Bowl, two inches, and Bachelor's picked up five inches. Bachelor has announced that they are going to open on Friday. And and Ski Bowl announced that they will start tubing on Saturday and Sunday, so that's exciting. Let's talk about your weather headlines. Today, scattered downpours continue on a hit and miss basis this afternoon. So, folks driving I 5 will likely run into a few of these downpours that reduce visibility and make it tricky on the roads. Three to six inches additional snow above 3,500 feet. Remember, government camp is right at 4,000 feet. Heavy rain and wind tomorrow. This system is really strong and it's very wet. One to two and a half inches of rain possible in the Valley, much more out toward the coast range and the coast. Again, that flash flood watch goes into effect tomorrow morning and lasts through Friday morning. Snow levels rise to 4,000 feet, so just kind of a mix at past levels tomorrow. Black Friday does look dry, so it looks like all the rain heads south of us finally for a little bit on Black Friday. Right now, mainly dry up and down I 5, a few spotty showers around Woodburn, and you see that cell just north of McMinnville. That will traverse the metro area within the next couple of hours. Snow showers continue in the Cascades, and you can see we still have more showers offshore to get through. Here is Thursday's system. It is really juicy. It's an atmospheric river extending across the Pacific Ocean, taking aim at the Pacific Northwest. So here's the timeline. This afternoon, on and off downpours, that's 5 o'clock with snow showers in the Cascades. Look at how things turn pretty solid overnight. By 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, a lot of you in the kitchen getting ready for Thanksgiving dinner or folks starting to arrive at your house early in the morning. It is absolutely pouring. So turkey bowl games tomorrow morning will be muddy and breezy as well out along the coast gusts in the morning 50 to 60 miles per hour and then we'll see a return to that strong wind at the coast in the evening. Here's noon time. So this is lunchtime. If you have an early dinner planned, it's going to be really soggy. If you have a late dinner plan, look at that 8 o'clock. It's absolutely pouring. So it'll be like a fire hose is aimed at us tomorrow. Finally, this is 730 in the morning Friday. A lot of the rain heads down to the south and then it surges back north as we head into Friday night and Saturday. If you have travel plans that take you over the higher terrain all the way through this weekend, it's best to just plan for winter driving conditions. Again, tomorrow that snow level right around the passes, so it'll likely be a more of a slush wet snow there. Downpours and hail today out along the coast. Chance of isolated thunder. I've had uh, reports of hail so far this morning in Newport and in Tillamook. Scattered downpours up and down I-5, so take it easy on the roadways as you head to grandma's or your aunt's house or mom and dad's. East of the Cascades, we're pretty much wrapped up with the showers, and there's plenty of sun there, so it's actually a really nice day in central and eastern Oregon. Through the gorge, scattered downpours, snow and wind up over Mount Hood, snow level about 3,500 feet today. Tomorrow, jumping again to 4,000 feet. Heavy rain and wind on Thanksgiving. Friday, we've got the parade in downtown Portland. It looks dry, mostly cloudy, highs right around 50. Scattered showers are around for Saturday, which is the Civil War down in Corvallis. Then Sunday looks mainly dry before wet weather at times early next week. Mm -hmm. Well, the next couple days will be good days to be inside. I know, yeah. I know. I really hope the power doesn't go out anywhere tomorrow. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll be on the road to Seattle.